Hi, my name is Danny Parkins. I'm a pro member for the UK Guideline Squad. And recently I made a video with regards to the winter and autumn techniques for pike fly fishing. What I wanted to briefly do was talk to you with regards to how you set up your wire leaders through to your fluorocarbon, connecting to the fly line, and how you make that. Nice and simple, it's not too daunting. You can make them in batches at home of an evening when the kids are in bed. You'll need limited tools, crimp pliers, a set of side cutters, fluorocarbon, wire, and this is a 47 strand plastic coated, readily available. Size free fast attach clips. Size free is what you need. Any smaller and it can be a bit fiddlier, any bigger and some flies you can't get that clip through. So let's get you started. Basically for the clip, I like to crimp on. So you get your little, try not to drop it. Get your little crimp and these are again, readily available from the tackle shops. Um, used for like pike traces. You thread that on to the wire. Get my clip. Thread that back through the, the uh, crimp. So it creates a loop. And then pull that loop to how small you want. I like to have it about 10 mil. If you can see that nice and clearly. Get my crimping pliers. Just give that a crimp. Nice and tight. There you have it. Your link is crimped onto your wire. And on the other end, well, that's tie perfection loop. And that's quite easy. There's lots and lots of videos online on how to tie this. So I'm going to tie it now. Um, I won't talk you through it necessarily because it's quite an easy knot and probably my hands are going to be in the way. But a perfection loop is what I would use. So I just get loop, form another loop tag in through the middle, pull the back loop through and you'll get a tag end that sticks 90 degrees off to the wire. Just wet it. We've all got these lying around our flies. And I just put a hook through that loop and just cinch that down tight. And as you can see, it's sticking off 90 degrees to the line. If it's any other angle that's not tied properly, a perfection loop will always, the tag end will stick out 90 degrees. Get, get your snips. Cut this tag end off, leaving sort of 5, 10 mil. Use your pliers with a side cutter, nail clippers. Don't use your missus's best scissors because it will ruin them. And there you go, there's your trace. So a loop and a crimped on clip on the other end. So 15 to 18 inches long, I find perfect. Now the beauty of seven strand wire is you can scrimp it up and it stays nice and straight. These will curl up after a while with a few hits, but they last a lot longer than the traditional wire traces. You can also use single strand titanium or seven strand titanium. That's a little bit more specialist. Um, and this is more readily available to you. So there, that's your trace made. Like I said, make sort of four or five of these up, curl them up, and I'll show you how that, I just basically form a loop, another loop, and I just pass one of the tag ends through. I just keep passing it through. There you go. Nice and neat. Stick a load of those in a rig wallet in your bag, and you'll always have traces, you'll be ready to fish. Next step, throw a problem. Now, I wouldn't go less than 20 pounds. I wouldn't go over 40 pounds. I personally use sort of 30 or 40 pounds. Don't go using 
fluorocarbon coated lines you want true fluorocarbon it's nice and stiff and it just allows you to roll those flies over easily it's almost an extension of the fly line i like to use sort of three to five foot no longer you can go as short as you like on sinking lines if you want to get the fly right down but you quite often see it sort of 10 12 foot i personally don't feel that's needed especially if you're on bank size with trees or rolling over big flies the shorter this is between your trace and your fly line the easier it will be for you to cast so I pull off, sort of like an arms pull. Snip off. So that's my fluorocarbon. And I'm going to basically tie perfection loops on each end. So again, loop, another loop behind, tag in through the middle, Pull the front loop through, ensuring that it's a 90 degree tag end. Wet it, get your hook or a pen, pencil if you're tying these at home, cinch that down nice and tight and as you can see tag end out 90 degrees. Again, snip the tag end off on the other end of the fluorocarbon, exactly the same. So loop, another loop, tag in between the two, pull the back loop through the front, leaving a 90 degree tag end. Wet, hook through, pull tight. Cut the tag end off. So you have two perfection loops and sort of three to five foot of fluorocarbon in between. Now, most modern fly lines come with a pre made welded, welded loop or you can cut that off and you can tie on like the old braided style loops, but all good fly lines nowadays come with this welded loop and it's perfect for attaching all your traces together via loop to loop. So here we go. So you get your fluorocarbon and the loop on your fly line, pass them through, pass the other tag end of the fluorocarbon through that loop it through, roll that loop over so it makes a nice figure of eight. What you don't want is that to look scruffy. So nice figure of eight and just cinch that down fairly tight. You don't need to anchor on that, but just make sure it's nice and neat. So that's the fly line fluorocarbon on the other end. our trace. Again, loop to loop. So we'll unravel this. Get our loop. And exactly the same again. Wire trace through the fluorocarbon loop. Get your clip. Pass that through that loop, pull them even, flip that tag over so it's nice and neat. It creates a nice figure of eight. Cinch it down. You don't need to anchor on this, just nice and tight. So there we have clip wire leader connected loop to loop with perfection loops running all the way through loop to loop to my fly line and that is how you set it up all you need to do now is get your desired fly put on the fast attach clip it on and you are ready to go simple as that
I hope that helps out and shows you how easy that is to make. Loop to loop, loop to loop on this end, and then tie that on and clip your fly on on one end. That's all you need to do. Ready to fish, super, super easy to do. As I say, if you make them in batches at home and you have a rig wallet in your bag, so when you snag up or you lose or you kink a trace, you can just unloop, loop on a fresh one and you're good to go. Hope that helps and hope that's cleared a few things up. Any more questions, don't forget, you can always ask. See you again. Bye.